Hey everybody, we are here at SEMA day two and we are in the Meguiar's booth. We were actually outside with Meguiar's yesterday chatting with them about their products and also checking out some of the builds here. But we have the privilege of getting to talk to the builder of this beautiful 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, Jeremy Miranda from Miranda Builds. Thank you very much. Jeremy's actually going to walk us through this, tell us what makes this car so special as if you can't see. Obviously, it's gorgeous, but I also know it's a pretty special build. So it sure is. Tell us a little bit about that, if so you don't mind. So this is a 1967 Camaro, as you mentioned. Uh, it's got a full custom engine bay that was uh, all built in-house by my my fab shop. Uh, it's got real carbon fiber inner fender wells that were handmade out of aluminum, and then they were molded into carbon fiber. It's got a carbon fiber firewall, which is a purchase part that we grafted into into the firewall. Uh, bunch of closeout panels under the hood that you can see. There's a kind of a fender brace that we made in-house that's all made out of aluminum. It was actually made by hand. It looks like it was made on a, on a machine, but it actually was not. Wow. And then we finished everything in a custom color that one of my main guys made for us. And, and uh, we painted, you know, painted the motor, obviously, and painted all the closeout panels. And one of the unique things with this car is the owner drives this thing. Like, uh, I love to he hear stole that. It. Yeah, a lot of people look at it and think, oh, it's just it's just a show car. It's it's not. The car actually has like 4,000 miles on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we got it a month before SEMA and freshened it back up and made yeah. it nice. <laughs> <laughs> Had to do a few things to it to, to get it back to this its its original glory. But, I mean, burnouts, donuts, you name it, he does it with it. I love to see that, right? Because if you have a car like this, you want to enjoy it. Absolutely. That's what, they're, uh, that's what they're built for, and that's what we've been doing a lot of is building stuff you can use. You know, right. it's, The show car stuff's great, but... A lot of times, you know, to not be able to get in the car and go drive it. What's exactly, the point, exactly. Know? To have it sit in your garage or to trailer it around somewhere. Yeah, he's uh, the owner of the car. Is a, a younger, edgy guy. Okay. He's got a he's got a couple supercars, and he he told us at the shop. He said, "When I reach for the keys, this is the keys I'm grabbing to this car." Because he said it's just it's so much fun to drive. Oh, I bet. So, what was his inspiration? Did he come to you with an idea, or were you like, "Hey, uh, we know what well, we'd like to do"? Originally, he came to us uh, actually just to swap the motor. That's okay. all we were going to do. All it right. was it was a, a big block Chevy car, and he wanted to do more of a you know an LS something a little more reliable. Right. And then, one thing led to another. We were tearing the car apart. It was in the fab shop, and this is what we got out of it. So those are the best collaborations. It is. Right? It always, you, you know, the there was no age. plan, which was great. Yeah. <laughs> That's also yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that works out really nice. And I think, you know, the creative ability of my shop and my team, he let us do that, and you can see it. That's great. Yeah. So it's uh, worked out really good. You know, the black, the black and the gold, it just yeah, they're works. They're really stunning. The gold yeah. is subtle. It is. But it it's still it like makes the you got to go look at pop it. It makes yeah. that black even more intense yeah and then we can move down the car a little bit you can see it's got a uh, real carbon fiber uh, mirrors on it those are from the ring brothers uh, nice. it's a, a purchase part but again ties in with the engine bay oh, also there's a tiny little ring brothers thing on there <laughs> yeah yeah we use well we use a ton of their stuff actually yeah um so moving into the interior oh, you can yeah, see the can dashboard see the... the dash was completely handmade in-house by by uh you know the fab shop and the guys, I mean, they just killed it on the dashboard. The dash was actually a collaboration of the owner and one of my guys in the fab shop. They okay. came up with, with all that stuff. And it's a challenge. I mean, it's it's all made out of aluminum. It's all made by hand. Oh, I mean, wow. literally made by hand. There's there's probably 250 hours in that dashboard to make that and the console. That's amazing. So it's it's a ton, ton of work. And it's, you know, you, you sit in the seat and it's just, you just want to drive it. You wanna, oh, yeah. You want to just have fun with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, this car is like calling out to yeah. you, right? It's sort of that space age, but also classic muscle car. Yeah, so failing. you can see in the back too, there's a, a really neat looking wiring system in the back of the car. Uh, that's an infinity box system. That's that that's what runs basically the heart of the car. Okay. And we're big, big on wiring and plumbing. That's like our staple to my brand. We don't do anything half-assed when it comes to I that. think wiring gets overlooked right it does it's uh, the biggest problem in custom car world is plumbing and wiring so that's something that we've just taken to the next level from day one it's something there's no compromise on that so, so when you talked about that what what exactly does that mean for that system the infinity so box? it's the infinity box system what it does is it it allows you to uh, program and make it limitless on what you can do in this car when you turn the ignition off okay. the headlights and taillights turn on like a brand new Chevy Tahoe oh wow uh, it has keyless okay. entry built into it it has a security system built into it you can theater dim you can see all the blue LED yeah. lights inside you can theater dim those so when you when you turn them off they dim real slow when they turn on they they uh, come on really slow like okay. a theater so 
there's there's a lot of really cool features about that system, and we use that in all our higher end builds. Wow. Yeah. So we're moving on to the back of the car. That is the, <laughs> the factory. The back is very badass. <laughs> yeah, that's a factory spoiler that we actually wrapped in carbon fiber, oh, okay. and then we body worked and painted it. The customer didn't want the entire spoiler in carbon because it was just too much. Yeah. He wanted a little more subtle. So the back side is carbon, but the front side is actually painted black. So it's really, really neat looking. And then the tail lights and the tail pan, again, was a huge collaboration in the shop with the customer. That's not a factory out of anything. We right. made the tail lights. It's two 69 Camaro tail lights welded together. Okay. And then refabricated lenses and then remade the tail pan of the car. So it's wow. not off a 67 Camaro, it's not off a 69 Camaro, it's, right. it's Miranda it's built. Own. Yeah. And then the bumpers we tucked in nice and tight. Yeah. You know, it's a factory bumper, but we cleaned up the edges of it and just made it fit the car correctly. You know, not overdone. Right. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that makes this car really stand out is that there are subtle details that update yeah. it, that make it, but when you look at it, you're like, oh. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta try to look for them. That's, yeah. that's kind of what we like to do too, nothing overdone. Uh, moving down the car a little bit, there's a there's an indent right in front of the rear tire, and it's it's the Camaros are notorious for that area kind of getting missed. Nobody does anything with it, so we made a really subtle scallop in the side nice. of the car. You can barely oh, yeah. see it, but it's there. Yeah, you can definitely see it. if you look for it, but you have to look for yeah, it. Yeah, and it's it's one of those subtle details I think that just changes the whole appearance of the car, and it's it, it's just a nice feature that you don't it doesn't jump out at you. Mm -hmm. And this car, we opted to leave uh, all the window trim on. A lot of the cars we build, okay. we do flush fit glass right. where the, the glass is flush fit. Yeah, this this we chose to leave all the moldings and paint everything. It's just super clean, looks good. We did shave the drip rails off the car mm -hmm. so that clean that up a little bit. Um, it actually has uh, OEM door handles because those were the original door handles from 67. Wow. So we just pulled them apart and painted them. Nice. And they look They look great. You know, They look really nice on the car. They do look really nice in the car. Again, it's that little subtle detail. Like yeah, it's a it's little simple. bit updated, but still. Yep. Very, so you very get simple. that feel when you're opening the muscle color yep. door of the like push in and pull yeah. out, yep. right? Yep. It's very, very nice. And then the hood is a, a hood from Ring Brothers. Okay. And again, a uh, carbon hood, but we don't want the entire hood carbon right. for the customer. So we came up with the idea that you see with the paint, the paint scheme where it goes from shiny black to matte exposed carbon fiber. And then we just pinstripe the edge of it to make it just that little detail to clean it up. And then the hood has those heat extractors that would normally be open into the engine bay. And we made we made pieces to fill those in because the customer didn't want water. He drives the car. He didn't want water, yeah. you know, pouring in the engine bay yeah. in the rain. I think that's fair, yeah. right? You know. Yep. And then well, we come around the front. The lower splitter area is a pretty neat. All this stuff was handmade. The grill is all handmade. The lower valance is handmade. All that stuff basically in the front end of the car was all made from scratch wow. in the shop. Again, that was uh, customer, myself, and, and the guys. Just all worked together, put our heads together, and this is what we came up with. That's actually, Laura, any of you, do you want to give a shout out to any of your team who worked yeah, on actually, this? Yeah, actually, yeah, my whole entire staff, uh, you know, Bones, Tim, Mike, and uh, the rest of the guys. It's Where just, are you uh, guys based out of? We're based out of Boynton Beach, Florida. Okay. Yep. Yep. Excellent. And I see by the sticker, although I've also seen the list, so I did know coming in, that you guys are part of the Battle of the Builders Top 40. Yep, we are. Very exciting. Yep. We'll be uh, crossing our fingers for you yeah, guys. Yeah, we're super excited. We actually have two cars in the Top 40. Ah, what's the other car? Uh, it's a truck. It's a okay. uh, 59 Chevy Apache. Excellent. Yeah, pretty neat. All right. That's great. Well, we hope that if you guys are at SEMA, come to the McGuire's booth inside the the uh, Central Hall. Uh, check out the car. Where's the Apache if they the want to check it out? The Apache is in the HRIA booth. Okay. Yeah, it's Hot Rod Industry Alliance. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. So one of the SEMA councils. Um, definitely support them for Battle of the Builders. We can't wait to see how that turns out Absolutely. for both of them. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It was such a pleasure to really get the ins and outs of this beautiful vehicle. And um, we look forward to more from, yeah, I'm sure we'll see more of this at Abs SEMA from you guys. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Thanks.